Okay, people, how are you doing? It's me, Makeda Valletta, uh, live from Pelham, Massachusetts. Um, I am here visiting my uncle, came to University of Massachusetts and came to a childhood home that I spent a lot of time at in uh, Pelham, Massachusetts, which is like five minutes from Amherst. And so it's just really um, beautiful out here. And the East Coast, let me, let me put the thing. The East Coast has um, so much beauty and this camera is doing it no justice. Um, but this is literally the, the woods. There was a moose crossing sign coming over here. And when I was a little girl, I used to spend a lot of time here. And when I was a little girl, I didn't appreciate it that much because I was such a city girl. I loved being in New York and I used to come here in, my, in the summers and spend time with my uncles and my cousins. And um, But the, the sun is shining in the camera so you can't really see this forest back here. And it's very hilly and lush. Um, so let me see. Let me go up here. When you got there, I would agree. At one o'clock, see, and one, uh, the sun is shining, so can't really see out into this yard and how green and lush it is. And it's interesting with the East Coast because this looks different than mm, spiderweb. Spiderweb is different than Vermont or Pennsylvania. You can't, damn, the sun shining in the camera is preventing. Okay. Can you see this greenery? This in the backyard? There's bears and moose and all kinds of stuff. This is in western Massachusetts. Uh, I mean, very nice. You can see perfect. I feel like the video is doing it no justice. I am here recording lots of interesting things with uh, my dad and my uncle, who are two crazy intellectuals. And so if you follow me on my other pages, you'll see some of the, the stuff that I'm recording. Um, whew. You see, Amherst, Massachusetts, this whole area by UMass and Amherst College is, is, is very, it's the country, but it's very lively and all kinds of interesting people and intellectuals out here. Um, and so I'm getting these stories. This looks like the best place to grow weed, doesn't it? My dad told me when he was a professor here before I was born, he used to ride his horse to class. Um, and so did my uncle. Dad, you said you used to ride your horse to class when you were a professor here, right? Yeah. Used to ride. <clears throat> Sometimes I would come through this road because my farm was further up on the hill, up on Orchard Road in Belchertown. This is Pelham. And right down Route 9, where we came, I used to come right where I used to go take a dirt road, Orchard Road down to here and then cross Route 9 and come here and ride into town. That's great. So Mike rode horses too? Yeah, Mike rode, yeah. We had a, he, he had a film. So he's from Jamaica and you're from Florida and you both come in here and meet in Massachusetts riding horses? Yeah, we had a big race here, the Belcher Town Derby. Mike did have the film to it. I don't know if he still has it. Doesn't matter because he cheated. I beat him in the race, but at one point he passed me. And then he took and edited the tape where it ended right after he passed me, but I caught him up and passed him. I actually won the race, you know, it was, it was a big deed. The great I'm asking about that. So, so you're saying that, you're saying that, that Mike I'm changed the tape? He, he edited the tape and made and faked the ending, yes. It was a race? Yeah, yes, it was a great Delta Town Derby. I'm going to ask he him. And I, okay, I'm going to ask him. He showed up at a jockey suit. I think I got pictures of him. I didn't know Jamaicans rode horses like that. Yes. Uncle Mike, my dad said that you guys had a, a, a race. The Great well, Belty Town Derby. The Great Belty Town Derby. And he said you edited the footage and made it seem like you, win, you won and he won. 
I don't know how to edit no footage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the equipment to edit any footage. He's See, got somebody. To I knew do how it to ask his side of the story. He got somebody to do it. Where's your bathroom, man? <laughs> In the house. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in the South. Growing, growing side of the in the fifties. And you back. saw it as you went there organized with the SNCC the folks. There's two bathrooms on the Oh, okay. Good, because I need to use one too. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going first. Was that your first exposure to outhouses? No. Okay. Oh, my mom had an outhouse. In the country. Right. We had outhouses. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, so you grew up at outhouses too in Jamaica? In the country, not in not in Kingston where I grew up, but we're in the hills of Westmoreland where my grandfather had a property. Okay. There was no running water in the house. And there was no bathrooms in the house or out houses. I didn't, okay, so you're from Kingston? Hmm? You're from Kingston? But my family came from the country. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my mom had an outhouse. When she told me she had an outhouse, I thought that she was like ancient. Because I thought everybody had outhouses back then, but, you know, they didn't. I mean, there are places now in this country where people have old houses. Oh, really? I haven't. I mean, I, I would think, that I would I would assume that, but I haven't met anybody. That, my mom's the only person I ever met in this country that told me they had an outhouse. So, but yeah. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, so. This, I, oh, keep getting my hands in here. Yeah, so I am here in Washington, Massachusetts. Let me, um, recording, recording, um, <laughs> these crazy old intellectuals. You're going to have lots of interesting footage. Um, but, you know, when my dad was a professor at, um, UMass, Janetta Cole, who was the ex-president of Spelman, was one of his colleagues. I remember meeting her when I was in high school. Um, so it's very interesting people and stories from this area. Um, and I definitely appreciate it more because, like I said, it's just beautiful and green. And so let me go. It's hard recording people with cameras in their faces. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful area of Western Massachusetts. Right now, I'm in Pelham which is very close to Amherst, Massachusetts. Okay, let me go, guys. There's actually no service out here. I had to get on there Wi-Fi. There's like no dots, no service. Straight up in the country. Let me see something. Let me see. Um, and there's been some very interesting, been some very interesting people that I met. Um, it's so green here. I feel like the camera isn't even doing any no snow yet no of course not and when it does snow it's going to be beautiful